Well, the Libero Theater will host a free concert tomorrow night to celebrate the return of live events. And News Channel reporter Blake Devine is live outside the Libero. And Blake, this is going to be a really special evening for the community. That's correct, Beth and CJ. After the pandemic put all the performances on pause here at the Libero for 15 months, they're finally back open, and that's thanks to $800,000 in donations from the community, which allowed the Libero to pull through the pandemic. Well, we got through the pandemic, uh, real uh, simply put, because this is a great community. I mean, they really stepped up. As its stage sat empty, the Libero Theater lost more than one and a half million dollars from planned performances. <laughs> leaving the 148 year old venue and musicians like Zach Gill in a state of uncertainty. A theater only works if people are, I mean, it, it literally people need to be inside for the theater to function. Yet the community came to the rescue when it mattered most. And on Saturday, the Libero will celebrate its survival with a free concert. We're going to go out of our way to say thank you as many times as we can, uh, both inside and outside. In an effort to ease COVID concerns, the venue will be open with anyone able to walk in or out throughout each performance. We totally get how the, the wide range there is of people feeling comfortable about going inside, going into a venue and watching a show. Despite a slight setback with the rise in COVID cases, the Libero looks forward to turning a new page. It's going to be a collaborative night. There's lots of musicians, over 30 musicians performing. There's going to be shenanigans of all sorts. I think it's going to be a night to remember. Touchdown brings me around again. Tomorrow's concert starts at 6 and the event is first come, first serve as the venue seats 600. Live in Santa Barbara this evening, I'm News Channel reporter Blake Devine. All right, thank you, Blake.